Well, howdy, y'all. It's been a while. It's October 13th, and this is my first sit of the season. We've got a cold front rolling in today, so it's pretty windy. I've seen two does so far today, and a bunch of turkey. I had one doe come right down to the base of my tree. She walked right about at 45 minutes after daylight, I'd say. So, been a good morning so far. Can't complain. This area I'm hunting, this property I'm hunting, is a special hunt area and it's been closed for months. So we haven't been able to do any kind of scouting since August. So don't have any fresh intel at all. I'm kind of going off of what I know the deer were doing last year, basically. Using last year's intel and some postseason scouting intel to try to get on some fresh sign here and I, it's only going to be open for a couple days so it's going to be a quick hunt try to get aggressive with it and see what happens and then see when it opens back up who the heck knows it might not open back up for another month so <clears throat> I do have another location closer to home which is nice that I would get to after these couple days are, are done here because we, we'll still have few days left of really good hunting this week at, even after this cold front finishes rolling through so it should be a really good week this week so I gotta apologize for being a little absent on YouTube here for a while it has been a busy year we bought a house we got married um, the wedding was less than a month ago um, September 21st that's pretty exciting business has increased dramatically so it has been a really good year really good productive year and on the right track for where we want to go it just come at the expense of producing good videos for you guys to watch and enjoy so I've got plans to increase it back up especially for next year 2025 but first things first let's have a good deer season this year I am milking this cold front as much as I can get it. We're this is the third day into the hunt so far. I'm only hunting this evening. I had to come home late last night. That property shut back down. It's a special limited draw hunt on that property. And it's not always open, so it's been closed down a lot. I collected the sign, 
I needed to collect, got the intel I needed to get going into the rest of the rut. So hopefully if it opens back up, I already have a really good starting point. Saw a few does. Overall, it's a pretty decent weekend out there. It's funny that on Sunday I started the day on some scrapes, ended up on some scrapes as a great converging hub. A lot of movement converges into that one spot. So I figured it'd be a good place to at least start. About 20 feet in the tree, great tree. I love that four trees just oh, sprouting up, gives you a lot of cover. Went on a midday scouting trip, found some really aggressive buck sign about 300 yards from where I found those sheds this past spring. So there's a decent chance it might be him. And knowing the, the shape of his antlers, he's not gonna be rubbing big trees. He won't be able to fit his horns around them. So it's a 180 inch deer that can only rub saplings. <laughs> I did find the scrapes and a giant rub on a cedar exactly where they were last year for that buck I was hunting last year. And I don't think he was very old last year. I, I was putting him at four and a half. He was 180s last year. That's just ridiculous. So I'm itching to hunt out there, just to say the least. But today I'm at a location closer to home, which is kind of nice. This ridge top is just loaded with scrapes. They're open. Checked them out a little over a week ago. Bedding down in the bottoms. Great bedding down there. All of it converging up into this one ridge top here. It's loaded with producing oaks. I mean, it is just the ideal October scenario here. So it's been 16 plus mile an hour winds all day. So I decided to get some work done this morning and come out this afternoon. When the wind's supposed to die, it's supposed to die probably in the next 30 minutes, if I were to guess. Definitely the next hour. So fingers crossed it's a good evening. Tomorrow ought to be good also. There's a spot down on the bottom, it's down there really close to that bedding. Right on the edge of that bedding, that's a perfect south wind hunt. And tomorrow we got low winds and south winds all day. So. Maybe the kind of situation that I just go out there and hunt all day down there in those bottoms because I am on the edge of that major bedding. It'd be perfect wind down there. So the, this up here and down there were the only scrapes I found when I came out here a week ago. So that's the update. Let's see what happens. That was quite a morning. We were non-stop deer movement. Basically, not right after first light, but I'd say about 30 minutes after first light. <clears throat> all the way up to 11. Saw so right around 22 deer, mostly all does. Three young bucks. 
they decided to do a little sparring, which was kind of fun to watch. Also watched a yearling nurse way a ways back behind me. I wasn't able to get it on camera because of the brush and whatnot, but that was interesting. Never seen nursing this late. Also saw one little button buck. So a yearling here underneath the tree still had faint spots. That's a really late fawn. It's pretty quiet today when it comes to wind and overall noise. So I'm keeping my voice down a little bit, which is nice with this mic. It picks up quiet voice. The wind's perfect for him to bed up on that ridge or in this thicket I'm right up next to. At, right after shooting light ended yesterday, I heard a fight right down here in these bottoms. This was my plan to move here to, today anyways, but because of that wind shift, but hearing the fight down here just confirmed what I was thinking. And also there is a statement rub right over there to my right about 30 yards it's hard to tell from here what exactly it looks like but it sure looks like a statement rub a nice signpost rub so I know something's good in here the big question is what is it so with him being fired up like he's being I might do a little rattling this afternoon and see if I can coax him on out here for a shot. Well, that was a fun day. Saw darn near 28 deer today. Mostly young deer, a bunch of does. At the end of the night, you had that really good looking two year old eight point. Tall, symmetrical. One of those deer that could end up being a real nice deer here in a few years, if he survives. So, we'll see if that happens. But watch him make a scrape off in a distance. He was kind of harassing some does as well there at the end of the night. But that was a fun hunt. Most activity almost all day. Uh, during the afternoon it got pretty slow, but other than that, I was on deer pretty much all day. So that made made for a lot of fun. That was a good four-day hunt, though. A lot of intel gathered, very important intel gathered. Check some areas out that I need to check out going into the pre-rut time frame here. So... Fingers crossed that other property opens up for me more so I can get out there and hunt because I know what's out there. I know what I'm on out there. This is still a mystery for me. I feel pretty good that there's good deer here. The sign shows it, but until you know, you lay, lay eyes on it, just don't know. But I know what's out there. So we'll see. This is at least close to home and I can keep hunting it. But first trip of the year is in the books. Man, I love October. So thanks for watching, y'all. Hope y'all are seeing success on your end of things out there in the woods. S 
send your success stories throughout the year. We'd love to hear them. We'd love to see pictures of harvest, all that stuff. I love seeing everybody else's success. So thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see y'all on the next video.